All right, mic test, mic test, mic test. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Can you guys hear me all right? Uh, I, I, I'm not asking my because I just moved to a new place. Up was um, streaming mic, I'm not going to set up. So I'm using my um, headset right now. So, can you guys hear me all right? Please let me know in chat. Switch. Uh, um, All right, loud and clear. That was uh, Benny uh, and Mackey. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so gold morning, right? Gold, gold morning. Um, <laughs> gold morning, everybody. And uh, yeah, definitely gold morning. I just checked my run earlier. And uh, yeah, it's definitely a gold, gold morning. A very gold morning, by the way. So it worth worth cha now. You know, beer. <laughs> right? That's how I celebrate um, my success. Uh, you know, a day um, at a time. Right? So, um, so, yeah. So far for the day, or at least for the previous day, because uh, at least I treat my hydrating time um, by, by U.S. time zone, right? Or Eastern time zone specific so since we start well i start at least you know, with our classmates um it was a day trading let me show you the screen right this is how it looks like on my end right um and this i know on damian channels um <laughs> but if if i scroll back up right um and you could also find this in our events um, so group pages, the Toro group page, right? we started, I start usually at 10 um, every night right, on weekdays. So since I, you know, we, we also go to um, day off, right, or, or off or rest day, as other call it, on, on weekends. So I started way back 10 a.m. I'm sorry, 10 p.m. or 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time um, or New York Time, right? So, yeah, and I, we posted there. I'd just like you guys to introduce, basically, um, that we do this every day, every day, right? Um, that's why gumawa ko ng bagong event on the group pages. If you are using your desktop, um, it's usually on the left. It's actually on the left side of the page. Um, Team Itoro Pilipinas page, right? There are menus there. Look for events and uh, you should see the details of the events. Or you could just look at the right side. Usually it, uh, it will show you the upcoming group events. And today um, it's August 14 live chat day trading. That's every night. Starts 10 p.m., which you can see here. I start at 10 p.m., right? Um, sharing my. Uh, gains and uh, trades right? and graphs and um, what I think. Right? I'm not saying also, yeah, just disclaimer, these are not recommendations like that you also need to execute your trades. These are just for educational purposes. Right? So we are trading, the others are also trading the successes like Max Magsano the other day, um, I mean yesterday, or last night, sorry, last night um, shared uh, his I believe that's Max is a yeah. Let me just make sure I say that correctly because my mga sensitive na mga tao, right? So these are her uh, trades, right? From uh, oil, um, Glenn also shared our one of our admins, Glenn Desoyo also shared it, right? And we continue usually do this. And Winston, one of ones of our our uh, veteran um, residents, right? Continuously sharing our. Successes. All right. So if you haven't joined day trading channel, and if you are serious of learning the day trading, uh, how day trading works, which I'm gonna show you every day that I am on live streaming, right, and also every night uh, in our live uh, chatting here in our Discord channel, real time. Um, this is the 
basically the best classroom or channel that you would want to join in. And we also uh, try to answer your questions as uh, much as possible when we are available. Alrighty. So yeah, um, let me move that there. Go pala na. Uh, so good morning, good morning again. Good afternoon, good evening uh, to all of our Filipino brothers and friends out uh, not in the Philippines right now. Um, so, hello there. All right. Um, okay. So, let me start first. I have a list here and trying to uh, para organize that. All right. So first thing today, um, obviously I'm looking at with our gold, right? Because I'm, um, I'm a miner. <laughs> Sabi nga, tawag nga nila Banksy at uh, Glenn Sakin is, uh, I'm a gold miner, right? Um, and I like gold. And I've been trading gold for, I don't know, as far as I could remember when I started trading uh, in Itoro with crypto. And I, I like how its behavior and, um, you know, the profile basically so if you guys watch the video i shared the other day um the announcements right i shared a very uh serious and uh, a very good video to watch that would you know help you psychologically prepare if you're serious about day trading or learning about you know to trade in the global market um, basically so it's like the second to the last um, post that I did above the um, actually the, if you go to the announcements channel right now you should see it <clears throat> the, the title is why only 10% traders are successful or why 90% of us usually fails um, and you know the discussion done and I urge you to watch it uh, when you have the time later on watch it multiple times right until mag sink in. Uh, so, because this is, you know, hindi siya, hindi to like, easy peasy, um, in and out, no. You need time and commitment, basically. Give me a second, I'm just setting up some other request real quick. So first is, yeah, I'm going to back read. If you have messages or DMs, um, I'll reply to them as soon as I can. All right. So first things first is um, I've been receiving a lot of questions about this, right? So I am right now constantly watching gold and I don't see any uh, entry points here. Let me look at my real-time graph. Uh, it's a trading view, by the way. So this, uh, again, this is the one... I've been getting those time frame questions earlier uh, the other day too. So here is my time frame, right? And we will continuously talk about this, you know, repeated, repetitively um, in our stream, right? So this is the one second time frame. That is one second right there, right? If I click here, that will change there. And again, this is trading view, not eToros platform, right? Main reason why, why we use this mainly, uh, and if you, you will notice also, na a lot ng ad, a lot of our vet, veteran traders and admins are actually using this because, um, for us it's very useful. Very we're very familiar with it also, and the big reason why is because of uh, this section here. This is the volume, right? And volume in my strategy is very useful. Very, very useful, guys. Um, is I, I, I trade, what, you know, the strategy is I trade in smaller time frames. And one of my requirements of my strategy is to be able to look at the volume um, of buyers, basically. Right? So you can see here, right? and this one second, this is a good example you know, to look at right now. <clears throat> Based on the trend for the past, I don't know, 30 seconds, um, the graph basically, or our technical analysis, basically telling us anything below this uh, price, right? 
1501 were considered as cell actions, right? But you can see down below to confirm it that the volume has been consistently more or less uh, short bias, right? So don't, you know, you could see here, I'm calling blind, but you know, I could still see it. So we, if you have normal um, visual, right? Yung okay pa naman yung mata nyo, you would see right in and here right now at a glance that is it's short bias, right? Meaning to say dominant yung um, shorting or selling in the positions, right? So that tells me something right away, right? We are on the right track. I am on the right track. And I've been shorting gold since last night, right? I've been sharing that if you are, again, in their Discord server and Discord, uh, in tra day trading Discord channel, scroll it up, back read a bit, and you will see my trades has been consistently been short. Although I have buy positions too, because as you would know, right? Like the swing shot, right? You just swing from 152 and then went back 1501. That's a crazy trade. That's actually an opportunity of a buy and a sell. Yeah. So yeah, that's the main reason why we're using um, a trading view. I mean, trading view, right? Um, I'm going to delete that. Yeah. All right, so one second, then one minute, and then 15, I'm sorry, five minutes, and then 15 minutes. I mainly, or try my best based on my strategy to trade within one second to 15 minutes that's my you know strategy if ever since we're not perfect right nobody is um it if it ever hindi shaman work within the time frame i move another i basically have another tab here that was my alarm and i switch Right, I change that. I do another tab or look at 15 seconds. And this is me looking at possible exit points. Kasi diba, our strategy is to play at one second to 15 minutes, right? And I mean, that's my strategy. And this may work or may not work for you. Uh, so I'm sharing it to you guys, but uh, you know, you could find your own style or your own strategy also. So, like, um, so as I was saying, but hindi siya mag exit, all right? Hindi siya ma timing, you know, because exit, I mean, entry and exit point should be part of your strategy, right? So if hindi siya mag exit, you know, we can't find the right exit during the one to five, uh, one second to 15 minutes, then I open a new tab and I looked for, uh, I look for 15 seconds, right? And ano nga yung last time? 15 minutes, right? Last um, chart. So we, Resume at. That's why I have favorite. Uh, I you know marked as favorites here because I could easily switch right. So from one, I look at um, thirty minutes, right? One fifteen seconds, then thirty minutes, and uh, yes, you guessed right. Every fifteen, na fifteen nasha. So thirty forty five minutes, and then to an hour. So as you can see, sobrang you know, different yung view in a different time frame, right? And a lot of people have been asking me, especially our new uh, newbies, right? Uh, or neophytes or, or beginners, right? Yeah. How do you read that, right? And we'll discuss that later on. So first uh, on my agenda today is uh, while watching the gold, I will also show you how you could set that up, basically. Because not everyone could pay for an additional, you know, fee in in trading view and obviously if you've tried doing this in trading view you'd know where now this is premium right this is paid this is a paid account um you can't do multiple charts in trading view without paying for a premium account right so i will show you how to do that in pro charts as you can see here right now um i practically have the same setup right it's this is actually the six uh chart the maximum one you can do the first question is where to access this, right? So uh, you could actually go to your account right now, right? Go to your account. And, and again, you know, disclaimer, this is on desktop, right? So if you're on your phone, you know, totally different um, environment, right? And then, um, you know, the typical thing is that 
it on your phone you would normally not see all the features of you know the application or the browser or the features or the platform right so if you want to see the best features and you know the full potential of a Taurus platform or pro charts right i urge you to trade and if you're serious of day trading please i urge you switch to desktop or, or your laptop or pc or mac right be on a computer because say that the experience is very very different and then it's much faster to navigate around right that's the best and most important thing you should have flexibility and speed and efficiency when you are day trading right very very important and i'll show you why um later on in a bit right because i'll show you how i execute my trades and probably if we find an entry point then i'll execute that real time with you and you know share you the results if you know we get um not lucky because i don't like to use the word lucky in trading but if we um ride the right entry and uh, exit point right so yeah okay so going back so how to get here right so let me close this but uh you know to reiterate so i go to basically watch list right i look for the um you know the instrument that i would like to look at right so this is how i do it you could also obviously do it you know do it differently you could probably go to your portfolio right and look at the history you could also do that from there but uh i think it's better if you go to the watch list right go to watch list and look for um the instrument that you know that you want to uh use as a project small so for me um it's up here Let's just look, search for it. Gold, right? That's gold. I click it. And you'll be redirected to the commodities, markets, commodities, gold page, right? In typical uh, page that. Uh, so where to go next is I go to chart tab. And after that, ito yung, dito yung dati, which I'm also was confused before. It's like, um, something pro charts. I mean, I don't see a word saying pro charts. So the next big thing that you don't need to miss is you actually you have to expand it, right? So if you scroll up, I mean not scroll up, but push your <clears throat> over your mouse to the upper right. This there is like a, an hour expanding arrow icon in the upper right. Click that just below the trade button, right? Expand that, and that should give you the full view um, of the chart, right? It would say in the top chart full. But this is not yet the pro charts, right? This is just typical um, <clears throat> charting, right? So, itoro. So, next step would be to hover your mouse to uh, the uh, what tag dito? Um, gear icon, I guess, is what you call it. Or you could maybe call it a cookie icon, right? Because it's a cookie, right? So, hover your mouse there. It should give you the option. It says lunch or lunch pro pro charts right the good to because lunch Ayun, and that should open a new tab we could close the previous window i mean tab and voila this is the pro charts and you would know because it will say on top etoro pro charts right also the url would say etoro pro charts app pro charts what i would recommend the next step is to bookmark it so here in my browser this is the brave browser by the way if you're not familiar it's just another version of Chrome, Internet Explorer, but basically browser. So just bookmark it. It varies in different browsers, right? So bookmark it para mas madali mo siyang mabalikan right? later on. So that's part again of efficiency, speed, right? So after that, diba, if you can see, this is just, you know, one um, chart. So next step would be to switch to that uh, six charting uh, version of the pro charts uh, go to or click your uh, mouse to the um, icon there in the upper right side of the page it should look like maybe i guess um, the boxes right like let me just call it the boxes <laughs> next to the pencil basically right so click that and you should see different types of options right there's like 15 uh, variations of it display layouts kumbaga right and uh, that's up to you if you want you know a four 
type window, right? That's it, right? Four. Or you'd like to look at six um, display layouts, right? And I have also, and you know, natanong to dati, like, can we save it? Yes, you can, right? As you can see, I have different views of it or save, um, saved layouts, right? But I will not use that because I, I will, you know, show you how to set it up from scratch, right? So let's do the six display out, right? So we'll click out from it. And I have the gold right here. So a quick, uh, you know, trick, if you are like me, who is day trading and short time frames and would like to see different time frames, right, of the same instrument, right, or symbol, and then there's an option here to actually choose one symbol for all charts, right? Click that, and that should apply it to all the charts. Magic, right? Amazing. Yeah. Next step is we can set up one by one, right? So like me, um, like I showed you guys earlier, I have like four time frames here in trading view, and I look at one second, one minute, five minutes, and then fifty minutes, right? That's the base base gist of my strategy. So here, um, obviously, we don't have the period period uh periodicity of uh one second right wala pa siyang ganun sa itoro i hope very soon right uh, shout out to itoro for this uh, approach by the way which is great uh but if it would be even greater <laughs> if meron tayong second time frame right especially for for guys like us who likes um the idea of day trading and trading in s small time frames which because look you know getting that data feed is is really really important so i'll start with one minute right so that's one minute because that's the you know uh smallest time frame that we could get one minute and in one minute um if you can see here you see we we use a six you know uh display layout here major um chart right that's the downside although this would be awesome if you're using a bigger and higher resolution um screen you know and like what I'm using right now, I'm using at, uh, um, you know, 10 something uh, P, right? You could also increase that resolutions uh, monitor you. That could save you. Although, downline is that masisira naman yung mata nyo kasi sobrang liit ng resolution, right? So, that's why I keep my resolution at uh, standard. Um, I just tweak uh, the graph, right, on, on my chart. So here, in the one minute time frame, since I'd like to see as much as possible the action that's happening in the one minute, I, I changed um, the settings here. Um, so right again on the, the cookie icon, <laughs> right? Ito, kasi it's a smaller uh, chart, right? So it should be here. That was, I changed the chart type to line, right, for one. Or you could use to actually use Hello Candle. I like that also. But for me, um, since I have trading view and I have the volume feed, it's easier for me to see um, on my different monitor. And I shared my setup um, before. I have uh, a three uh, setup monitor, right? Um, monitoring. I, I plan to add two more because purely for monitoring, which is very important for me also, right? So I use line because for one minute, because there's this like, if you look at candle, right? Medyo malaki kasi yung mga um, space in here, right? So, for me, they're, they're too big, right? So, I'll use the line for now. Go. And after that, I'll add uh, my studies or basically our indicators, right? They call this studies dito sa each, uh, pro charts, right? So, um... I usually use, as you can see here, same thing. We're going to set it up that the same setup. I usually use, and it's been asked also numerous times for the past couple of days, uh, what indicators do you usually use? So first, I use uh, stochastic, right? Stochastics, right? Or short hand would be stock. We just call it stock, right? Because we're really short shortcuts. Uh, Pinoy as we are, right? Stock, all right. So we add. Unfortunately, pag nagpili ka ng isang uh, indicator, mag-close out siya. Maganda sana. Um, and a shout out to our pro charts developers in Itoro. Is maganda sana if we could 
multi, you know, add them multiple time, um, at the same time by choosing multiple indicators like, you know, parang nag-check, you know, nag-check mark, uh, mark lang tayo. Anyway, um, I hopefully that feature will be available soon. So the first one was stochastic, right, or stock. And then the second one is MACD, right? MACD. So there. And we'll replicate that throughout the six, the other five charts, right? So first, like I said again, um, line for one minute. That's again, that's my setup. Line for one minute, and you could obviously do what you like based on your taste and your preference, right? Because yung ibang tao gusto lang din makita um, their the actual movement, right? Because like here a chart, you know, you could actually see the movement here, what's happening on the you know the last you know ten minutes here, right? See, majority dito nagbuy sila, right? Um, but it's a trending down, and then it trend up again. That's how you interpret it. So that you know depends on you. So for me, in the one minute, I'll just look at one, the line. You know, simple as that. So line, stock, MACD, and we'll repeat that to the next time frame. So that's one minute. I'll work on the next one. So five minutes periodicity, and then studies. I'll add MACD back that is i'll add stochastic there we go oops and so another thing also and this is just me preference kulang, right um is that you would want to i would recommend actually to set up your you know mini charts let's call it mini charts right um on the same uh design right or placements of your indicators for example here iba kanina uh, na, nasa taas yung MACD, right? And I moved it down. My icon, so if you can't see it, right? My R icon, so you could move it back and up. Right? So I moved it down is because I one of the other, you know, uh, checklist of my strategy is time frame continuity, right? So since I trade at volumes and trends and patterns, right? I want to see as much as possible efficiently and accurately as much as I can the actual trends and volume. So if, if I look at here the one minute time frame, and then mag switch ako dito bigla sa five minutes with my eyes, right? And then biglang nasa baba yung stock, but nasa taas yung stock dito sa so one minute. That would probably take me a few, you know, seconds or minutes um, to adjust my, you know, the way of my thinking. Kasi hindi siya naka continuously on the same level, right? Parang like when you're looking at, right, like designs or windows or, or, or mga yung public uh, marketing materials, right? Uh, it would caught your attention and parang, you know, natitigilan kayo along the way if there's something different, di ba? And that's how marketing guys <laughs> picks up your, your attention, di ba? That's effective in that way. But here, since we're looking at continuity, right, uh, momentum, consistency right we should have like identical placements of our indicators para madali siyang makita when we're looking through our charts diba all right so that's just me and of course that's the post on youtube so the, i'm done with the five minute i go to and also in the five starting the five minutes as you can see i didn't change the candle uh stick right um just because starting in the five minutes <coughs> excuse me i look for Entry points now, right? That's how, that's where I look at entry points, starting entry points. The one minute is just purely for me um, <clears throat> to look for volumes and, you know, trends. In the five-minute trend, I confirm uh, those trend and, and, and patterns. And then, you know, if confirming siya, and as what, as what I call it, the winning pattern, right? The W pattern. When I see that, and then I execute and add my trade. <clears throat> Inom lang <ko> tubig kasi <laughs> we need to be hydrate, hydrated. <laughs> All right, so so that's five minutes. So we move to one day. Um, the next one would be obviously ten minutes. All right, every five minutes tidy to support charts, um, because we we can obviously. <laughs> yeah, that you could also of course adjust that to fifteen minutes, thirty minutes. You know, meron naman siyang ibang time frame. But me, I like to look at every five minutes of the action. So, 
the five, so 10, and I'll add the MACD, like that. And yes, I, I'm using this the default settings, the MACD and stock. I don't change it or tweak it. I just add that and just adjust it. There we go. So we're halfway. This is 15 minutes. Charge MACD. Listen ko lang. And you'll get, you know, basically familiar with it. So mabilis na siya. Anyway, this is just a one-time thing. When you're setting it up, you could save it, right? Like I said earlier, like you could basically save one here. So I'll also do that just to show you how to do it. So this is 15. And the next one would be 30. So MACD, create, and set to. <clears throat> All right. 30 seconds, 30 minutes, All right? Stock MACD. And last one would be uh, an hour. And go back. The last one would be stochastics. There we go. So. <clears throat> Alrighty. So our six chart gold mining setup is ready, right? I call it um and an inside joke. So it's a group nothing not before, right? When we first started, when I first joined the team, our amazing team at Team Toro Filipinas. Uh, Glenn and Bengski um, joked about uh, how I uh, how I trade gold, and they called me the miner, right? Gold miner, and you know I embraced that. That was gumawa ko lang like like tracking and uh, my Excel sheet. I called it minute time frame gold mining, right? <laughs> so it's funny, but it works, right? It works. You know, mindset lang diba? mindset. So that's a positive mindset right there. And so we're done with our six uh, display chart. So next step, obviously, is you don't want to, although automatically in system, it will detect the last re or recently used chart, right? So if you accidentally close this and, or, or nawalan kayo ng kuryente or, you know, nag down migla yung, yung computers nyo, you could pretty much go back here as so a pro charts, right? Or hopefully na bookmark nyo, or you could simply type pag na... Memorize nyo na to, right? itor.com forward slash app pro charts, right? And then go back here right away and then just click recently used, right? If I um, close this, right? Close that again. Tapos let's open a new window. Um, by default, it will detect the last, right? The last chart that you use. However, just to make sure hindi siya over, right? right? I would recommend to save it, right? So save layout. And it will pop up uh, a box there, so you can name it, right? I, I named it Gold Six, right? It's, uh, the setup cosa layout. So save that, and I have the Gold Six either, right? So I could switch from four, six to gold quickly, right? Currency pairs, basically I have my charts for my, uh, the pair that I've been practicing and monitoring, right now, and then. Um, Gold six. So we go back to the gold six here, since that's our topic for today. Alrighty, so how we set up? Checked. Pro charts, right? Multiple time frames, checked, right? Um perfecto diba. <laughs> so next one uh, guys I'd show you is um right dito uh let's see dito the eToro. Um, so if you notice, right, so executions go so time frames. Um, if you'll show it here, um, some of them are actually have you know were opened uh, successively or you know like you know mabilisan kumbaga, rapid uh, buy and sell, diba? And for the newbies, in case you don't know, there's actually a feature called. Um, one click trading right i'll show you right now and that's the next thing um i have on my list to prepare us for our uh executing or how to execute our trades basically so how, where where to set that up so put ka din sa main page mo right sa itoro account mo and then lower left settings and again and this might be different um it's app right it's a phone so go to your computer and set that there. 
So click settings, right lower left, and go to trading tab. You'd see here uh, one click trading, right? So one click trading. You need to first click yes to activate that, and then look for the market or instrument that you would like to enable the one click trading. So for me, for example, I'd like to do gold. Then I click gold, and it will basically suggest by default based on my equity. Um, what's the ideal units um, and leverage that I'd like to do? So you could set that up. Check me personally. I will not change the leverage and the SL default. Basically, the default here will be fifty percent, right? And leverage is fifty also for gold. And what you could do is that depends again on your equity. You could change that to amount, right, or the units. Right? And then this exposure will basically adjust also. If you could do one hundred. And that will also increase your exposure and uh, approximity of the units. All right, so once that's enabled, I save that and we're ready to go. Basically, what happens here is that uh, why I, I showed you this because you know if you have set up your uh, Vitor approaches like this, you could simply one click trade here, right? Just by clicking these uh, <clears throat> buttons here. Anywhere on the site that you can see these buttons, by the way, you can one click trade as long as this feature is enabled, right? Okay, so I'm gonna disable that for now because I'm not one click trading today <laughs> in our low profile, by the way. I actually do that all the time, um, by the way, in my high risk account. So, because, you know, Kailan ko speed, right? All right, so that's another check. So, one click trading. So now, <clears throat> we go back, of course, obviously, in our strategy, right? And then I think I am seeing an opportunity here right now. Um, all right. I'll drag my volume window into the other window. I'd see. Because I think I'm seeing an opportunity. Although, wait, no. I dragged the wrong one. Stay in gold. I dragged it to the other window. Para makita nyo. I changed my mind, never mind. I'll just show that here. Alrighty, so okay, so now I'm gonna try and look for an entry point. <clears throat> Alright, are you guys ready? <laughs> I, I think most of you guys want to see yung, an actual execution of trains, right? Here we go. Two, two, two. Mm -hmm. see again. <clears throat> okay, let's see. All right, so. Yeah, this has been my chart trends, Kanina, right? That's why I've been selling, selling, and selling. And so far, they've been accurate. Thank God. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, we'll try. We're going to try. We're going to try, guys. <clears throat> and I'll do this in my high-risk account, okay? Because um, I don't want to risk uh, exposure, more exposure in our uh, public day trading account. So I'm trying to recover that. Um, loss in a way the pair is actually recovering now so which is great so going back let's see <clears throat> let's refresh let's make sure yeah and by the way when you create when you enable that feature so uh, it does a one click trading uh, make sure to refresh uh, the window or the tab that you're about to execute a trade because maybe it's not applied on. It's like real time. All right. <clears throat> so let's see. All right, let me go back to my gold uh, day trading view so I could see the volume. All right. On my high risk, my setup there is... So I could share it to you. Is... Um, Maximized leverage for gold times 100 and then SL and TP default is on default, right? So um, Let's see 
So now our strategy basically is mainly again like one second to um, 50 minutes, right? So now I'll look for that actual trend here. So one second and confirm that in one minute and then also in five minutes, right? So we're looking for that continued trend, right? So the trend basically is what is a trend, right? So it could be, yeah, obviously it could be, a trend could be um, going up, right? Or going down. Those are our trends, guys. Right? Delete that because it's an actual trend. Yeah, But that's the trend, right? And you could see there in our stock. This is the stock uh, indicator, by the way. The same setup I did in the pro charts. This is the stock, and this is the MACD, right? So what I look for is the trend. It could be up or down, right? And um, the good, the great thing about small time frames is that. Um, we are not entirely affected uh, by fundamental news, right? Which is great because uh, we could finally depend on technical analysis, right? So we're just focused on this thing because uh, if, you know, if there's a lot of factors and indicators, right? It gets confusing and it gets really hard to execute your trades, right? So, but with that being said, you still would like to watch out for those, right? So that's why I opened my... Uh, symbol list right my list is basically is designed for me to see the other uh relative um it could be a pair it could be uh instruments of the markets right for example um so the gold basically reacts um on the global markets if they're like there's a big you know stress uh distress or or problem or issue happening uh, the gold would definitely hype up, right? As you can see, if you look at the history, ganon yun nangyari, like, you know, there's a Trump indicator about China trade wars. And then, <clears throat> may problema sa oil, right? Then sa, um, somewhere in Middle East, right? So, the gold has been rising, rising consistently for the past, you know, weeks. And it's been a great ride, right? For those who have, you know, ridden it. And um, so what I look at here is basically, uh, this is the Dow Jones, right? This is basically one of the uh, exchange in US. VIX is basically the volatility S&P, uh, right? Index. So th those are close, obviously, because it's past time, right? Uh, but you could also look at pairs, which basically trades um, all day long uh, on weekdays, right? If you could see a big, you know, uh, drop, on USD trades, there there's could be a potential trend to go down, right? In the smallest time frames, right? And we will, you know, see those trends and patterns confirmation very clearly in a one to fifteen minutes. That's why I like I really really, really like to trade within the one fifteen minutes, right? Although if you know if if there is sorry if there's a big boost of USD, right? Uh, if there's a big, you know, uh, drop, then that means we could also potentially uh, see a big boost uh, or buy orders sa gold. Although, right now, as you can see, the, the, the volume dito, hindi siya masyadang malaki, eh, compared to uh, a few hours earlier, right? That's why I start trading at 10 p.m. onwards, right, every night, is because that's when the major players are open, um, in exchange and markets, right? So, damning trade, right? And damning volume, right? And that's part of our strategy. Anyway, but we'll find an entry point. Um, so, we'll patiently look for that, right? Patience will be one, uh, will be one of our friends every day. So, you don't want to be rushing in just purely because may nakikita ka sa page natin, nag-post bigla, like, um, I'm buying, right? Um, or I'm selling, right? And then um, you realize later, oh, super delayed na pala yung post na yun, like uh, an hour ago. And ayun, na FOMO ka, basically, right? For newbies out there, FOMO basically are fear of missing out, right? Um, so, you know, natakot ka na hindi ka maka-join or maka-ride to flow, right? And you should never, never do that. And that's a complete, complete no-no. Um, 
no to FOMO tayo dito sa group natin. So I, I myself in the admin team continuously reminds everybody no to FOMO, right? The moment that you feel, the word feel, right? The moment that you feel na shit, I missed out. I should have, you know, uh, added a buy position or added a, um, a short or a sell position, then you're wrong, right? Usually, every, almost every time, the moment that you feel like that, that's going to be a big no-no. Always try your best to stop yourself and please do not do that. Tell yourself, do not do that, right? We execute our trades based on our TA, right? Number one. The fundamentals is our just our secondary indicator, kung baga, like parang um tawag ito, like boost, like right? follow up, right? Just to confirm that we're on the right turn. But then again, like we're at a fifteen minute, one to fifteen minute time frame. Then um, most of the time it doesn't matter. That's why I like about this time frame. All right, I, I think we're seeing a buy trend in one second, right? See, uh, this is basically you know if you know how to read. Um, resistance and and, and uh, support right obviously right now it's playing on the resistance right this is the resistance resistance chan right that was yeah this is there's a potential mag five one five oh three to shadito diba? Huh. although knowing gold yung yung trend yeah you know it could as quickly as it could be like this, 1502, tapos biglang mag 1501. Big drops, right? Kaya we play uh, in high risk profiles, in my high risk profiles, we play uh, extremities, right? Um, so we would like to ride that confirm pattern. I say confirm because I want to confirm the pattern first before I execute my trades, right? Tr looking at trends is easy, right? You can see this is an uptrend here. Right? Uptrend shop. This is an uptrend here. Diba? But then, here, wala siya confirmation. So, what is a confirmation? Right? Confirmation is basically when the stock, for me, right? When the stock is basically on the same trend. Right? Meaning to say, here, so one minute, let's zoom it. Right? It's going up. If it's going up, in my five minutes, down here, it should also go up. If we zoom it, it's still not going up. In the 15 minutes, it's actually about to go down. Right? There's a potential about to go down. This is the line, by the way, for the stock, uh, stochastic, right? This is the overbought, right? Overbought setting, not then. And I didn't change that. That's 80%. Once it goes beyond that point, the line, the stock, right? Um, that means it's overbought, at least based on statistics, right? For our TA. And then, that could mean, and most of the time, there's a potential na bababa siya in the next time frame. That means, in the 15-minute time frame, right now, it's about to go down. <laughs> Parang kanta lang, right? It's about to go down. Diba? It's about to go down. There's a potential that's about to go down. In five minutes, there's also a potential of, um, it's about to go down. So, we're looking for that continuity, right? We're looking for that confirm pattern right we see the trend we see the trend obviously we see the trend it's just that it's not confirmed yet and you can see here ayun in one minute parang mukhang bababa siya so if i see that this is confirming going down and i, I confirm it also in the sec uh, in the five minute time frame it's also going down if it crossed and it continuously goes down bam that is our entry point the moment we see that i use my own very own uh, speculator sheet, right? Um, and I'll share that quickly right now. And I also have my notes here, right? Kita ko lang sa inyo, guys. So I think it's confirming it's about to go down in the 1 to 50 minutes. And so I'll share, uh, and, and someone was asking about this the other day also. Behold, 
my very simple minute time frame trade calculator. So I call it the gold speculator system, right? So basically what happens is that the moment we see that entry point, right? So using the actual prices in gold uh, in the Toro's platform or Toro prices. So if we find the selling point entry point right now, if we do sell, it should be 1502.29. The moment I type that there, bam, it will auto calculate my SL and ideal SL and open. Um, um, sorry, that's not, that should not be TP, sorry. Dito tayo sa open pala. So 1502 and then let's say 36, right? That's the price right now with the sell. Um, so if I copy that, here's a sell. Dito, one fund sell. So my target will always going to be like between one to three uh, percent, right? That's my conservative target. However, if there is a big chance to ride five, the five percent and up, then let's go for it, right? So I open that right there, right? So automatically, yung TP target ko is 1.0196. And that's a variance of 0.4 only. And that's our basically pip or spread target, right? So if I do that, I apply that, right? If I copy that, balik siya dito sa kabila, right? As you can see, it's still going down, right? If we go here, trade not then, and make sure ko lang na hindi siya na-apply, baka mag-trade directly. Refresh kita quickly. And if we trade that, right, we click sell, diba? Dito. And if, if naka one click trading ka, automatically mag execute share, right? So I'll execute that here. And of course, you'll set your buy uh, amount, right? Your test buy, it could be a test buy, it could be your actual buy. So let's say 200. And then automatically 50, right? So you set your TP right away. Right? You paste that there. And that's it, right? That's your target. You open the trade, bam. And as you can see, our TP is 1.50196, diba? Now we look for that and we confirm that. See, if we executed that on a timely manner, nag-TP na tayo, guys. Diba? Tingnan nyo. <laughs> right? See, nag-TP na siya. Kasi that was the confirmed trend, right? We saw that in one minute, it was going down. In the 5 minutes, it was going down, and in the 15 minutes, it was going down also. The reason why we want to have a continue, continued, you know, continued time frame, trend, and pattern is because we want to make sure that in every time frame, mag-hit tayo, di ba? I mean, if we fail to go out in the 1 minute, then we still have a chance in the 5 minutes. And if we still fail in the 5, five minutes, we still have a chance in the 15 minutes does it make sense guys right because we want to prepare right that's the plan prepare for our exit since we we've been like focusing on looking our entry points but it should be part also of your plan to for risk management and exposure management is that we want to prepare for our exit point you know it should be always part of your plan your exit point because that's where we close it that's where we take our profits and if we set our TP right there and then right away you execute your trades, then that means you are safe, right? Yeah? So, diba? Nakita natin yung trend, we confirm it, we executed our trade, bam, we TP'd, and it went right up right away to 1.02. Diba? So, but we don't want to write, write every, you know, trend. is because that's just how it is. I mean, we're just humans. We can't execute at the level how computer does, diba? So, um, the good thing, I mean, the best thing about here is that when you practice this more and more and more every day, um, you'll get used to it, right? I mean, uh, I'm so used to it. And I don't even like, um, you know, zoom in and zoom out anymore because I just look at my stock and my MACD. Uh, the MACD comes in is that you would like to see the volume confirmation, right? Volume confirmation from sorry volume confirmation means like here for example dito um why volume is important is because you would want to hit your tp as much as possible diba? sure we confirm the trend and the you know sorry we see the trend and we confirm the pattern yes but then the volume actually is the one that will drive um 
the price, right? That will drive the trend and the pattern to your TP target, di ba? If there is no volume, confirmation, right? If, if malit lang yung volume, there's a big chance hindi siya ma-hit yung target mo. But then, we were lucky there, you know? I guess I'm gonna use the lucky part, is that, kasi usually around this time, hindi siya masyadong maganda yung volume. Right? You can see it clearly. Hindi siya masyadong maganda yung volume. Earlier, kanina, mga, mga, mga you know, umaga, pwede pa. Like around 8, kasi may ibang markets na go open. Diba? So, there. Ayun, bumaba na naman siya. If we open another, bam. Uh, right now, I'd say this is a confirmed pattern of winning pattern, right? Like here. Ayun, nakikita ko lang yung winning pattern natin, guys. And it's going down. See, this is actually the support stock graph, uh, start stat natin dito, diba? It's forming W. Now, it's actually going down. Since it's right now confirming here in one minute, then it should be confirming in the 5 minutes anytime soon right now. You can see there's a timer here, diba? Dito sa 5 minutes. And there's also a timer here in the 1 minute. Because in 1 second, it's one literally 1 second update. Diba? That's why ang likot siya dito, diba? <laughs> Sobrang likot. Um, so that's why it's so, so great to have a, a 1 second feed. Because you actually see the actual volume movement. That, that's why I'm hoping Pro Church would have that option too. Para lahat na tayo, we don't need to pay for a, a third party uh, charting platform like TradingView just to, just to have this feature. Right? Ayun. So, yeah. It's confirming. There we go, guys. Na confirm ulit. It's going down. It's going down. Um, so, what's the winning pattern, right? This is the winning pattern, right? Oops. I'm so bad at drawing. <laughs> down, 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 up. That's the winning pattern or the W pattern, right? That's what we call it. Here it's forming in the W, right? It could be that pattern, right? Ayan. All right. How does it feel to see the trend and pattern, guys? <laughs> How does it feel? <laughs> Uh, let's take a break. <laughs> Kasi... <laughs> Alright, let me back read uh, and try to answer some questions. Um, good morning, good morning. Yeah, uh, I agree. Time frame, yeah. The trend is your friend. Yeah, not char. No char. <laughs> Definitely the trend is your friend. Uh, Elise, Raya. Sir, in your strategy, do you consider... Chart patterns like ascending triangle, pennant, head show. All right, that's a very good question. Why you don't see that in my <laughs> charting? One answer, simplicity, all right? I keep it short and simple, right? Or ano mga ibang tagline dyan? Um, kiss, right? Keep it simple, right? Another one is, um, I'm, you know, that's why you trading. It's more or your strategy when you're forming it or you're developing it. It's actually more dependent, very dependent actually on your um, personality, right? On how you look at uh, things or how you perceive um, or read things or look at things or understand or, you know, how you deal with things, how you basically, uh, how you are who, or who you are, right? I know it's, you know, parang cheesy fucking gun but it's it's true uh the, why i i mentioned that is because me personally um i'm a very you know simple minded person right and uh the way i look at things is very simple and then i'd like to keep it very very simple also as clean as possible the reason why i don't have those uh ascending triangle pen and head and shoulders <laughs> everything all those kinds of things like i don't know you yung mga um uh, Ito? Uh, alligator patterns, mga ganun. I don't have those. It's because for me, when there's too much indicators on your screen, it's just, you know, confusing to look. That's just how it is for me, right? And I, trust me, I've been there, you know, kasi yun yung first things na nakikita ko sa YouTube, right? Sa mga nababasa ko sa libro is that, 
um, yung mga ganong mga trending like triangle, the trend, the ninety percent, the eighty percent, the the acute movement mga try <laughs> mga ganon right mga range or like Bollinger bands mga ganon. Although I used to use Bollinger bands when I'm playing at swing in in stocks right, um, which I normally do. Um, but 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 then when I'm doing my day trading, I stick to this most simplistic form of uh, displaying my technical analysis because I want to clearly see the pattern which we want to see, right? Clearly see the trend and pattern and confirm it. Right? That's the most important thing for me. I hope I answered your question, um, Elise. Raya. <laughs> um, you're welcome, uh, Shokoi and Aubrey. Uh, oh, <laughs> Shokoy pala yung nag ask ng sheets. Yep, that's it. That's how I, uh, that's how I use it. You could build your on your own. Basically, it's just a simple minus, <laughs> minus and plus, right? Diba? You set lang yung TP mo. I mean, you set yung opening trades mo, then you set your own spread, right? Based on what instrument you're trading on. Because the reason why I don't like, you know, sharing my actual templates or mga ganon, right? Is because it could be, it could be, you know, misleading for you. Um, especially for those people who are developing their own strategy, right? Nemo um, Rajud, thank you. I appreciate that. Busog na ako dito. Appreciate that. All right. So yeah, do you always have to confirm all the way to fifteen minutes, or kahit one second, one minute, one minute, good now? Yes, I always, always try my best to confirm the one, uh, one second to fifteen minutes time frame. And that's uh, the reason why, and I, I mentioned this earlier, and I'll repeat it, is that we want to make sure that we're prepared for our exit strategy, right? Um, because we, you don't want to, as much as possible, get trapped, right? Because if you can't exit right right away, there's a big chance that you get ma, trapped, right? What do you call it? What do you call it? Right? May ipit ka, di ba? So you don't want that to happen because if you're if you're trapped in that time frame and in that day, you don't know, literally don't know what will happen the next day, di ba? There could be a trap indicator, bam, right? If it's a negative indicator, it's you know the price could go up way way up. Like, uh, if you check the history of you know gold, right? Uh. On, on the day, right? Yung highs natin, we actually went as high as see? We went as high as 1535 one, guys. Imagine that, right? Boom! 1535, tapos na correction siya, konte. <laughs> and I'm still actually betting na magko correct siya because, you know, the global powers, kumbaga, right? Obviously, U.S., China, um, Southeast Asia, or APAC, right? Asia Pacific, which includes Australia, um, the big players in gold, and also economy, and then Middle East, right? Which um, also is a big, big player. That plus my UK, right? There's a lot of negative vibrations, right? Negative uh, news ongoing on all fronts, basically. And that's the main, main reason why in gold, so, you know, boom, blue soap, right? It's going up, like continuously. However, you know, and I believe, and I think I'm right, firmly think that I'm right, is it's about to hit that correction level, right? Correction meaning to say it will go back to its usual, usual price. And this could be a potential trend like this. I use red because it's a sell signal, right? It could go as slow as see the i use the bollinger bands here right see this is this is when you would like to use the bollinger bands so if you're looking at day trend um day patterns right or you're like preparing for a swing if you're an investor or a long um target uh swing trader this is how you look at it right it's just the same thing as we how we look at the small time frame it's just that on swings we look at days weeks mga ganon right say See, and the shadi ba? I could potentially say I could actually I I will bet 
that it could go as slow as 1425 in the next few days or even before the week ends diba? and uh, the reason why yeah look at my look at my stock here it's actually confirming it's going down right that's a confirm signal guys although it could be something like this right it goes down a bit and it gets go, goes up this is actually a trend up but then we already see our winning pattern here right bam 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 that's a confirmation that the next one would be something like this also right or it could be a much deeper w right see what i draw here well that's actually almost perfect <laughs> which is rare for me because i'm so bad at, i'm, I'm left-handed by the way so I'm, and then i'm using mouse on the right hand so so as you can see that i draw that here right but then if i drag that here it's basically identical here. see you can drag that see confirm trend guys that's how you that's how i confirm the trends in my swing trades I'm leave that there, but let's see if I write. I'm right, right. And then the, yeah, yeah, and, and I'll just tag that as sell. All right, sell. That's my swing, right? That's my bet on the swing, and I've been shorting gold for for the week. I am all right. All right, I hope I answered your questions at least. Um, um, Ang Meki, Sir Jed, don't push the W pattern niyo sa one minute trade. Pagkatapos ng huling line, up ng W, di ba po bumaba na? So this would confirm pa baba. Sorry po, di ko nasundan sinabi niyo po. Don't worry, you could replay the video later on uh, to YouTube. But to answer your question, yes, um, well, that's how pattern works, right? I mean, I mean, trend works. Uh, when you're trading again in a short time frame, you what's common denominator dito? What's obvious? It's just up and down, right? Up and down. So if you think about it, virtually, if it's up and down, let me pull up my drawing here. If it's up and down, if we zoom, right, up and down, yung pattern ganito lang talaga, right? W forming lang talaga siya. Diba? The reason why I call it the winning pattern or the W pattern is that it could confirm which direction we're going to. Right? For example, kanina, diba? Sabi, na, sabi ko it was going down because I see that it was going down here and then it went back up. That's basically our support, right? Support siya dito, diba? So, there's a mini W here. So every time there's a, a forming W pattern, right? That could be potentially a breakout, a uh, potential breakout trend, right? So dito, right? It actually confirms here, W pattern here, and it was going down. And then it again confirmed the W one. So now that means it was setting us up for a big, big down, uh, you know, dive. And it did. Right? Tama tayo, right? It did. See? Nag-drop siya. Bigla. And like I said, we just saw the confirmation. Dito sa one minute. That confirmed siya. We also confirmed the five minutes. And we're safe to say. And then the next five minutes, meaning five minutes, right? Five of these time frames, that it's still going down. Diba? See? nag go down siya. If you zoom out, in the five minute trend, we still saw the pattern. Ayan, that's the big one. So that means, malaking volume siya dyan. Ayan, see, it's confirmed down sa MACD. They confirmed siya. Then it went back down again. And then now, in our 5 to 15 minute time frame, it's still going down. So we can safely say, oops, that I will go on the short side. Diba? See, it's still going down here. Let me zoom. See, it's still going down, guys. Diba? I love it when I'm right, right? <laughs> so, I, sabi ko nga kanina, or the other day when I posted um, my results for the day in my uh, British pound yen or Jap British Japanese pound yen pair 
the Forex. Uh, and also, the 5 minute and 15 minutes din. Yeah. So yeah, yun lang. Confirming. And then we join that right lang. Sir, W pattern, same ba yun sa M? Um, yeah, W is just an inverted M, basically. <laughs> so, you know, if you're familiar with um, analytics on, on statistics, basically, what's the inverse of it? Basically, it's just the same logic. Diba? Yun lang. That's just how I um, analyze it or, or absorb it. Oh. June bars, sumabay siya sa trade, tumama siya. Congratulations, but then, like I said earlier, before nag-start new stream, this is just for educational purposes. I, we could be wrong, we could be, you know, right? I hope, no, not I hope, but, which most of the time, we're right. <laughs> because our confirmation pattern has been tested for over 12 months na, personally, yeah. So I could confidently say it works for me, di ba? Uh, but congratulations, June. I encourage you to share that in our Discord and also in our group page. Uh, please. So, para ma uh, encourage yung iba to have an actual strategy. That's the most important thing. Have an actual strategy. Guys, yeah, I still see that it's still going down. See, in volume dito, sobrang laki ng volume ng cell. Dominant yung cell, right? See? So red, right? But now, in a one minute time frame, it's about to go up. In this five minutes time frame, it could be going up, although wala pa siyang crossed dito sa wala hindi pa nag cross yung stock natin. So in the fifteen minutes, it's still going down, right? Although it could be something like here, diba? It could be a short swing and it goes back up, right? So yun. But I think it's still going down to one four nine eight. Yeah, it's actually still going down. In one second time frame. See, it's still in support, right? It's up, still about to go down. Yep. And in this time frame, you, we could basically call this as an oversold, right? Oversold. Again. All right. I think uh, I hit all of our checklist. Uh, no, not yet. So before ending the stream, uh, guys, I'd like to recommend a book you guys to read especially for the new bros uh, newbies by the way newbies um, out there and let's see na basahin and may nagtanong kanina na back read ko quickly is that um, saan saan hanapin daw so go uh, I'm gonna show you real quick right? so discord natin and all our resources that I've been gathering and all our admin teams have been gathering is actually existing in our discord channel right all you have to do, and again, this is this could be different in your phone, right? But I believe in Discord app, it, it, it's actually just somewhat uh, the same uh, interface. But just make sure, right? This is the desktop version, right? So you scroll up, basically the top channels are FYI, right? Basically for your information, right? So go to trading tools, right? And don't die today, trading tools. Once in your trading tools, scroll up, right? And... and but I mean, naka group to right? So, charting tools, trends, and news. So, the book should be under schools, right? So, these are the recommended uh, resources from our community. Not just from the admin team, but basically everyone who contributed. May nag-share ng mga books, PDFs. We uh, say thank you and then we add it into our... Uh, into our directory, right? So, the book can be found in Goodreads, Tito. This is our uh, public Google Drive, right? If you open it, you will see these books, right? Yeah, and Dito is a folder, open it. And these are the books that we have so far. Let me show you guys the actual cover. Right, what I would recommend is, for those, again, aspiring that would like to learn, you know, the way, how we do it in the day trading, is I'd like you to start uh, reading one book, one good book, and these books are all good books, right? So one good book um, every day, or you know, as as depending on how fast you could read a book, right? So you know, because ibaba naman yung 
responsibilities natin. And today, I would recommend um, reading this one, tradingrules.org. Read that book, complete it, and understand what you read. That's the most important thing, right? And then apply it in your virtual practice and train on it, right? Um, and and uh, I'd like to go back to the video that I shared the other day. In this video, and please watch it, is that because uh, uh, I mentioned dito, the reason why majority, 90% is a majority, right? Fails in day trading, not just in day trading, in real life, like mga, you know, ventures, not in businesses, athletes, right? Sports. <clears throat> is because we don't stick to it much longer to see, you know, our successes, diba? Just like the famous inventors, yung mga, um, ano rito, scientists or whatever, the great people, um, you know, that ever lived, right? You know, like Einstein, um, Tesla, or anyone, basically. Didn't do it overnight, right? In, um, hindi. And, like, they went through numerous mistakes and then failures. However, if you stop, you know, after 10, 20, 30, even 100 failures, then you will definitely fail, right? That's the basic gist of that video. But please watch it because uh, <clears throat> the, the, uh, the person who actually created the video highlighted different situations that you could probably relate to, right? That's, that's the best way to, you know, psychologically set your mindset, right? Is that when you understand what's in it for you, and you understand how to get there, it gets easier, diva. Right? That's why we continuously have this tips and tricks channel is to, you know, continuously uh, share you guys the channels that we look at, that I look at, that we recommend. These are not spam channels, right? And then you could also look at here, scroll up, you also find my previous streams, right? Easily. Although you could put that, um, you know, just Google my name, Jed Villardo, in YouTube, right? Or even in Google, and you should be able to find the videos that we posted uh, previously. All right? Uh, so last last two questions natin. Um, or yeah, two questions. Sir Jed, pwede po ba namin magamit yung calculator mo? <laughs> yeah, uh, like I said earlier, uh, the reason why I don't want to share that is because that might, you know, um, mislead you. Um, although yeah I'll, I'll, I'll uh, make a copy and make it uh, an easier version right and you could use that as your blueprint then you know I, I encourage you guys all of you to build your own system that fits your profile or your personality or you know your style style so build on that baseline um, do not like mimicly copy me or others because uh number one number one thing is that we we all have different responsibilities diba? not everybody can commit like me here sitting for the next two or three hours watching the graphs and and the charge and the trends right we could not do that <laughs> oh you know not all of us can do that um i've been talking to mr michael ang in in our uh discord at night and shout out to him and he's been one of our uh, veteran investors in PSE. And uh, we've been trading right, consistently in the past few weeks and months. Diba? And sabi uh, nga and I'd like to quote him, is that, um, you know, in a, uh, iba yung mga responsibilities nyo, right? From us, from me and who. And uh, you'd like to find that balance, sweet spot, right? And a very, and it's a very thin line. So, you know, you, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta adjust that. Also, the charting, you could pretty much just, you know, tweak it based on your style, right? For me, this works, and you, for you, it could be, you could be like, you could be playing from one to thirty minutes, one to an hour, or between thirty minutes to an hour, depending, right? Because you know, you could be, uh, you know, busy at the next 30 minutes or uh, busy at the next two hours, right? And you can't sit down and watch it. So, you know, 
And you know, repetition is the best you know thing to do here. Is that repeat, repeat, repeat. Uh, so and then just adjust it gradually. Do not jump from one idea to another, because that will just lead you to you know ultimate failures and potentially you'll just leave it, right? You just forget it. That's why I go back to my point. Usually, there's just ten percent of us who succeeds in day trading or any in any uh, venture that we do in life. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Pangayd lang sa virtual port. No problem, Shokoy. <laughs> um, yes, pakapi ng calculator, though we can edit our own as well. Yep. You're welcome. Thank you guys for watching today. I hope you enjoyed and learned something at least. And takeaway uh, is that for today, I'd like to you know, reiterate is that please, please do not be, you know, do not get full mode, right? Or don't get full mode. No to full mode tayo. And please set up your strategy and plan as early as now. If you're practicing still in virtual uh, platform and you're, you copy trade me, good job. That's how you should do it. You know, protect your hard-earned money, guys. Do not practice in your real portfolio, please. Um, only do that when you are confident enough. Confident, I would say, time frame-wise, mm, I would say start if you're confidently and consistently gaining based on your own strategy and plan in the virtual platform, uh, let's say for the next consistently from three months to six months, then by all means, try it in your virtual. But then if you just did that, you know, consistently for, I don't know, a week, two weeks or three weeks, anything that's below three months, I would say no. Right, that's based on experience and that's based on statistics, guys. Yeah, do not ever, you know, burn your money. So that's your hard-earned money, and I know how it feels, and it's gonna stress you out, really, really stress you out. And uh, you know, you can't imagine. I mean, you, if <laughs> if you've been there, you know how it feels when you're so depressed because you lose a lot of money, and you, you know, you'll start thinking about I could have done this, I could have done that, um, and. Why did I do that? <laughs> you know, self-doubt, and that's not good. That's not healthy, right? So us here in the admin team, I'd like to, again, remind you to set up your plan and strategy as early as now. Practice, practice makes perfect, right? Nobody's perfect, but, you know, still practice. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I say thank you again. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and uh, I'll see you. Let's see. What, when is the next event? Um... Uh, oh, by the way, yeah, um, where to check the next stream or, or, or live chat day trading. The live chat day trading happens every night, right? At 10 p.m. onwards. Um, uh, and I'm, you know, all the veterans, traders share their uh, thoughts and ideas, insights and whatnot and results in our Discord channel in, in, in Discord, right? In day trading. That happens every night except on weekends, obviously, right? The live stream day trading with you, which you could find in the events page uh, in uh, our team, Itor Pilipinas Close Group, is that uh, calendar. The next one will be in Friday. Friday, Taya, next time. Uh, I'll see you there. Uh, please opt in if you'd like to join para ma remind kayo on your phone um, and in your Facebook. Alrighty, so thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Good morning and good evening wherever you are. Be safe and God bless.